Google Immersive Stream is clear the priority over Stadia. Oh, it's clear, huh? Google Immerse Streaming is clear, clearly the priority over Stadia. According to them, right? And I'm pretty sure they changed the um, they changed the order of the priority because of how Stadia has been kind of struggling uh, with uh, marketing, how people see it. Because uh, it hasn't failed for sure. I guess negative connotations can have came up because of the closing of the, uh, the development studio and um, I guess promises not kept which i don't know uh, uh i guess personally i don't think of anything that I've, they haven't uh kept that they promised a lot of people when it first got announced that uh that stadia should do some white labeling they were like yeah man that's outstanding because you know developers are going to put the game they're going to have to port the games into the stadia ports and therefore that's only that can only be good because now they're going to bring those games are already ported it only makes sense to put it on on stadia right it's like if you're selling a product and you know if you're going for like mass appeal the more people the better you want it in walmart and you want it in target you're not going to be like mm, i don't want it in target because i want it you know what i mean they have exclusive deals but i think most manufacturers don't want exclusive deals because it, it limits what they, like look at uh look at apple phones uh when they came out it was only exclusive to at&t and the second the contract was up they were everywhere right the argument can can be made that if uh, if white labeling or immersive streaming uh, does well, then Stadia does well, right? Now the counter to that is well, if these developers can put their um, like if they can put their games on their own storefront, why would they want to put them on on Stadia? I went against that argument before by saying well. I can go to Amazon and buy a Nikon camera and I can go to a Nikon and, uh, and buy a camera there too. It's just two avenues to buy a product. If they already have it available for direct customers on their website, it does not hurt them at all to be able to put it on Stadia where they're going to have their own customers, right? So if I'm a hardcore gamer, like let's say Maker, right? I'm not, but let's say I was a hardcore gamer like Maker. And he's like, you know what? I'm a huge Elden Ring fan. Let me go to the website to see if there's any DLC that I can buy or if they have any news on the, uh, the you know, Elden Ring 2 or anything like that. So I go to the whoever the developer of Elden Ring uh, is website and I'm like, oh, look at that. <clears throat> I can play a demo of Elder Ring 2 on here. And then somebody goes into Stadia, somebody like me who has, knows nothing about games. And I just heard, oh, look, I heard you can, uh, you don't have to download any, uh, any uh, games, but you can play these games here. So I go there, right? So Maker's over here, direct to the developer, wanting the information from the developer. And I go over here from a platform because I know nothing else. So I go and I see that there's Elder Ring 2 demo on Stadia and then <clears throat> now you, that developer has two ways to expose their game to two different types of customers if that makes any sense did that make sense i think it makes sense right so anyways to me that's that's a good thing but let's see what these guys have to say the past year for stadia has been an inter interesting one but it's become clear that google has bigger priorities going forward if the past few weeks are evidence of anything immerse stream <clears throat> for games is google's path forward in gaming to me it seems like it was always the technology right that's always what they wanted uh raymond jade was talking about that her biggest worry is that they're not going to have enough games stadia life at google or something like that i think the biggest hurdle is you know content we have there it to, is. Uh, i think all of the exciting features that stadia <laughs> Uh, is bringing okay, acknowledging the technology we have the games that utilize them and make them exciting for players right and so you know we feel i guess especially in our group uh where we're making the games and responsible for bringing those things to life like we feel like we've really got to get cracking and get those awesome games that demonstrate these things out the door um and you know and obviously compared to a lot of companies have been making games for a long time we have a lot of work to catch up even with the basics so it's really all about the content and getting the content that's the proof of how exciting the platform is yeah okay so that's the video that i was ta I talked about before obviously it doesn't age well knowing that she uh the studio got shut down and 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 she's not she's no longer there but while she was there 
she understood that that was an issue. Maybe Google didn't realize that that was going to be an issue. And that's where one of the, some of the missteps were. While she was there, while Stadia was being uh, developed, there was somebody in the de leadership that understood that. And so I'm sure they were working on it. I guess maybe their reporting process was just entirely too, um, too troublesome. And therefore, they're focused on that now. But at some point, they knew, even now, they must know uh that gaming uh, the games and the platform are important you know what i mean so i think that's that that's a good video to show because that was two years ago if you check the uh the uh, link <coughs> the upload time is two years ago some somewhere around probably closer to three now <coughs> sorry about that guys so in the week of june 6 uh no new games were added to google stadia the only notable release has been high owl uh release of elder scrolls online uh welcome to the high owls Google has added 28 new games of Stadia over six months onto this calendar year. In 2021, Google delivered 107 new titles to the Stadia library, and the company promised at least 100 new games during 2022, a tall order at this current rate. So at 2021, uh, around this time of the year, halfway through the year, there were 47 games out, right? And so, you know, another six months, and they only needed 50-something more, right? Of, well, I guess 60, 60 more games uh, to make that 100. But in 2020, the year right after Stadia uh, released, they had the same amount of games, 28 games in the middle of the, the year. And they were still able to get make it past 100. So I know I'm, I'm a, a Stadia fan, obviously, so it sounds like I'm defending them. But you also got to give... Uh, everybody the benefit of the doubt you know what i mean you can't just assume that because it's google then they're going to shut it down maybe it's true and then you'll be right you know two years three years five years ten years from now eventually if it shuts down you're going to be right there's people in that camp for xbox are still waiting for xbox to shut down you know what i mean and they might be right maybe cloud gaming is what takes the co consoles out of the game 